Hey guys, so today I want to check out uh, the Asphalt 7, the last generation Asphalt game, uh, that I think came out last year, uh, versus Asphalt 8 Airborne. So uh, we have Asphalt 7 Heat versus Asphalt 8 Airborne. And on top here, the white iPhone, here where I'm going to play Asphalt 8. And then on the, my black iPhone 5, I'm going to check out Asphalt 7. So, we're just going to play this first quick race to see. Of course, there, there's a lot of things you can go over. But... So I also have iOS 7 here and iOS 6, but shouldn't really make, make a major difference. So first thing you notice here, you have these annoying menus. Okay, first off, of course, the UI here is totally re uh, remade. Uh, but these annoying pop-ups is really annoying in, in uh, Asphalt 7, in my experience. Like these, or maybe, maybe not super annoying, but hey. Um, okay, we'll play this quick solo race here. Oh no. Okay, let's begin. First thing you also see here is that the first race, uh, you actually get better cars uh, in Asphalt 7. Or in Asphalt 8, I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, you did, did see that first car. You can, I can also skip the intro here, I think. No, maybe not. Okay, so the first thing I want to do here uh, is... I want to go to controls, change... There we go, steering wheel. I usually flip this one to the top. Oh, wait a sec. Okay. So, uh, graphics wise, I'm pretty sure I mean flying plane you usually got there. Uh, it looks a little bit more cool in terms of graphics uh, in Asphalt 8, of course. Um, now we are in a roady environment here. Here we are a little bit in a city environment. You do have the kind of the same things here on the sides, but let's see here. It feels like just in general that you have more effects uh, here, probably more blur effects, uh, and I mean just more sun effects. Uh, inside of um, inside of Asphalt 8. Let's also see the crash here. Gonna crash in Asphalt 7 first. Let's crash. Okay, there we go. That's how a crash looks like. A little bit of red feeling, but then we are back again. Let's try to do a crash here. Oh wait, like, this is also of course the new things in Asphalt 8. These jump things, and that's why it's called Airborne. And I mean, really, that makes the game experience pretty cool. Uh, let's see if we can. Uh... There we go. No. There we go. So a little bit of another effect there. Um, let's also see the speed here. You can actually do a perfect nitro inside of Asphalt Eight. If you first click and then you wait two seconds, I'm not, I'm not quite sure if that's something that's available uh, inside, inside, inside. Wait a second, I forgot what I should say. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if it's available inside of Asphalt 7, this perfect nitro thing. Uh, interesting though, the UI looks pretty, in, uh, pretty the same here on both devices though. Uh, they haven't changed it super much. You can see a difference here though when we go to menus. What? Uh, that they also have enhanced this a little bit. It just, it's a little bit more clear here w w what you should do. And I mean these jump things is of course one of the most amazing things. It's making the gaming experience so much fun inside of Asphalt 8 and I mean this first thing that you get like a real cool car the first thing you do that is pretty awesome while here you have this like shitty car 
And also I believe that the, the steering and everything could be a little bit enhanced, feel a little bit more real. And also it feels like when it crash, it's not as annoying. Because this one goes a little bit black in the menu, this one kind of stays the same. Uh, also about the environments, I haven't played Asphalt 7 so much, but I mean you have these sick environments over here. Inside of Asphalt 8, I mean, that we are driving in tunnels and stuff. I mean, that's pretty awesome. I mean, look at this. Like, jump. Pretty epic. Of course, the performance on both is actually super smooth. Uh, they really optimized Asphalt 8 uh, good for various iPhones and Android. It also runs very good on Android, even on the Galaxy S2, which is a pretty old device from 2011, but you can... Uh, perform some pretty amazing stuff. So just quick little look here. Hopefully you did enjoy this quick look at the single player mode. Of course, very very different environment the first game. Uh, I might get more into detail uh, in different modes and other things in future videos, maybe graphic settings and stuff. Uh, so you can have a closer little bit look at that. And yeah, you, in general, wreck mode, the wreck screen just looks so much more badass inside of Asphalt 8. Uh, extremely good update actually, I mean, compared to Asphalt 7, I mean, a very, very cool update. Uh, I mean, just look at these jump things. And you can, of course, spin around if you come on the side. See if I can pull that off. Oh, almost. And there you go, perfect nitro. See, can we do a perfect nitro over here? Hmm, no, we can't, it seems. Okay, interesting. It seems like it's gonna, just gonna take everything you got there. But I don't think it do that in Asphalt 8. So, um, quick video. Hopefully you enjoy.